What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. Now today, as you can see from the title, we are going to be talking about the five players who in my opinion are the most expensive players that were, if they were to move say abroad, um, their transfer value would be the highest. Um, so this one is going to spark a little bit of debate, I'd imagine. But um, yeah, this is my opinion guys. Let me know what your top five would be and how much their transfer value would be down in the comments below. If you are new around here, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe as well. It does mean a lot. So yeah, let's jump right into it. In fifth place, I was kind of struggling with this one a tiny bit because it is a tough choice between a lot of players but we probably in a, in a similar range in terms of their transfer value. I did go with Aaron McEnough in the end just because I was kind of gone between him and Chris Shields possibly but Aaron McEnough is still, I think he's only in his mid-20s um, and he's a goal scorer midfielder which don't they don't come about an, like an awful lot and they are hard to find. So I think if he was to go um, say into a League One or a Championship side, he could uh, be a really, really good signing there. And I, I'm, I'm going to say his transfer value is actually a little caveat before we go into the rest of them is kind of going because the contract situations in Ireland are really tough to um, to get the maximum transfer value for players so I'm kind of leaving that to the side for just for this video so for Aaron McEnough I'm going to say around the 100,000 mark and um, maybe a little bit audacious but I'm comparing that to maybe a Graham Burke who moved to Preston for 300,000 so that's kind of the scale I'm looking at here because I probably the full value they could have got for Graham Burke at that time. So yeah, I'm taking Aaron McEnough around the 100k mark in fifth place. In fourth place, I'm going with James Talbot. Now, I'd be surprised if he's still with Bohemians in a year or two's time. I think he's a lot of potential to go very far in the game. Of course, he got actually a call up to the Irish senior setup recently um, and he had a fantastic first season with Bohemians. Unfortunately, he got that injury there just before uh, the pandemic broke out really, but He's been unbelievable for Bohemians. It's a big part in them getting that Europe, Europa League spot uh, last season. So for, for me, James Talbot is a top, top keeper. And um, I think all of the contract issues aside, I think Bowes could be struggling with a couple of their young players in terms of contracts and stuff. But um, uh, I'm going to go with James Talbot. Around the 150k mark, maybe that might be a little bit low. Or some people might think that's a bit high. I don't know. It's kind of hard to judge it. But uh, I'm going to go with James Talbot in fourth. I think he he could definitely be a player that a team in League One uh, who needs a goalkeeper maybe pushing for a promotion or a Championship side uh, could definitely look to bring in a player like James Talbot if they are struggling for a goalkeeper because um, it is it is a good route to go down going to the League of Ireland and getting a cheap goalkeeper because it is a very it's a very risk free move because their wages won't be very high and the transfer fee isn't too bad either. So it is it is a very viable option. I think James Talbot could be a player on the short list of a lot of sides in. England. In third place I have gone with Danny Mandreu. Now that might be a little bit of an annoying one for Bose fans to look at but I think that's fair in my opinion. Um, I'd say probably the third most expensive player in the league right now. For me he's a top player and um, if you look at uh, the stats from last season he was very very good return in terms of goals and assists. Good does go missing in games and that could be a thing that English sides look at and maybe can put them off a tiny bit. Um, but he definitely one that can pop up in a moment with a bit of magic because he's a technically really gifted footballer um, and he can bring a lot to a, diff a, a team in terms of uh, free kicks and set pieces and stuff so yeah I, I think he's a top player um, in terms of a transfer value if you're looking at Graham Burke moving to Preston for 300,000 you'd be looking in and around the same figure maybe um, Bose fans might be saying oh, a million quid and all this stuff like crazy crazy figures but I think I think around the the same fee that Preston paid for Graham Burke is probably realistic in terms of uh, what Bowes probably accept that as well realistically it'd be a huge huge um, be an incredible payday for the club and they need the money in these times as well especially so it'll be interesting to see where Mandreo is in a year or two's time but um, another thing I, factor I was considering is that he is kind of behind the pecking order um, behind like Conor Ronan and players like that in the under 21 setup and these are players playing in League One and stuff so Maybe teams might look at that and that might put them off again. Um, but I don't know, I think I think 300k is probably probably a fair price. But I'd be interested to see what Bose fans think of that. In second place, I've gone with Michael Duffy. Arguably the best player in the league, it's very, very tight. Um, he's 25 years of age and yeah, he's just a top player. Uh, he's versatile, can play in a couple of different positions. But he brings up a lot in terms of very, very good on the ball. Scores, pops up in big moments, scores important goals. And then, um, yeah, I'm surprised he's actually still with Dundalk. They've done very well to keep hold of him um, after his displays have been amazing the last couple, couple of years. So, um, 
yeah, Michael Duffy is one that you wouldn't be surprised to see uh, make a move over to a championship side, possibly. Um, in terms of a transfer fee, you're probably looking not slightly more than what Graham Burke costs, I'd say. Um, maybe half a million, half a million mark, possibly. The fact is that Dundalk are in a really good financial position that they don't need to be selling, so they could negotiate it up a little bit higher if the team is interested in them. So, yeah, I think I think um, you're looking you're looking around the half a million mark for Michael Duffy. I think um, in terms of what he brings to your team, like he, he in a league one or a championship side, he could be the difference in maybe a promotion or a relegation. So, I think I think he some dog could be sell, uh, silly to lose him on the cheap, and I don't think they will. They run the club very well. They have good good, good contracts in place, and um, it is the worst thing in the world to see class League of Ireland players leave their team on a free. It's the worst thing to see. So yeah, I think I think Michael Duffy, I think around the half a million mark. What do you guys think? And then I think there's only one man you could probably put uh, at the top of this list. And maybe it's more in terms of reputation over Michael Duffy and stuff like that. Um, but the fact that Jack Byrne has been, he's so highly recommended and he's so highly rated. And for a good reason as well. He's hes in the Irish setup as well, in the senior squad and competing for that mid, in midfield spot there. So in terms of a transfer fee, is he the first Irish player to be worth a million quid, that's the question kind of going around. Maybe, I don't think Rovers, I think Rovers would probably ask for that initially and be worked down to, well, it's hard to know what they'd accept really. They've got some big transfer fees in there in a similar situation to Dundalk where they don't need to sell necessarily and um, they're in a good financial position. Um, yeah, it's tough to know, isn't it? Um, maybe. The, They'd start, I think they'd initially ask for a million and they could be negotiated down a couple of hundred thousand, probably around 700, 800 thousand mark. I think they'd probably accept that realistically. Um, but Jack Byrne is just a wonderful player. Uh, he, he's been a huge part in Shramock Rovers, um, really challenging Dundalk and being toe to toe to them with them, really. And winning the FAO Cup last year, having a good one in Europe last year. Um, he was fantastic in Europe, of course, really stood out. So. Yeah, um, Jack Byrne is definitely worth uh, that money. Uh, it's, in, it's an interesting one as well because he did go up to Scotland, didn't do great, but I think he needs to come back to Ireland. Sometimes you just need to come back home and uh, build yourself back up and play in familiar surroundings and stuff and um, to really like, really be at your full potential. And he's a top player and he's only 24, 25 ish, I think. He's only maybe 24, I think. Um, so he's, got, he's not even at his prime yet, and that's, that's a really. That's a really thing that teams think they can look at that and say that he's going to get better over the next three to four to five years. He's going to improve. So, yeah, I think I think he probably would be worth the investment. But whether a team would sum up that kind of figure for a League of Ireland player, it would be kind of groundbreaking, really. So, um, yeah, uh, I think I'd, I'd have Jack Byrne at the top of the list, and I'm going to stick around 800 tails of mark. I think I think that's probably fair. He's a top player, so. I want to know what you guys have to think of the five players in my list and what other players you think should be included in that uh, in that top five. Um, I've probably got one or two that might be could be swapped out for different players and stuff. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. This is kind of a quick one. I thought it'd be a, kind of a fun topic to look at. Um, I hope you're all keeping safe, keeping well. We're going to have some more exciting content coming out over the next couple of weeks. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button down below and hitting the notification bell beside it to never ever miss an upload. Thanks for watching guys, catch us in a bit.